So now we're going to look at the physiological effects of hops in the body and why hops is so unbelievably unhealthy for you. German beer makers noticed long ago that the young women who picked hops in fields commonly experienced early menstrual periods. Eventually, researchers discovered the reason. Hops is perhaps one of the most powerfully estrogenic plants on earth, according to Stephen Herod Buner in his book, The Natural Testosterone Plan. Today in England, it is well known that hops can powerfully inhibit men's sexual potency. Brewer's droop is a term devised for brewers who handle hops, as the estrogen is readily absorbed through their skin. Dr. Eugene Shippen wrote in his book called The Testosterone Syndrome, that one of his patients who had been undergoing testosterone replacement therapy didn't respond to the treatment until he reduced his beer intake from six to seven a night down to one or two. So the hops in beer is so potently estrogenic and anti-androgenic that even while supplementing testosterone, the effects of that testosterone were completely negated by it. So it didn't work until he reduced that down to one or two beers. So that just goes to show you how potent of an anti-androgenic substance hops is. So a little more information about hops now. Hops belongs to the plant family Cannabaceae, which interestingly is the same family as cannabis. Now I'm not saying that cannabis is estrogenic and should be thrown out with the bathwater, but I do think there are ways to make cannabis better and there are ways to make it worse as far as its medicinal properties go. Just 100 grams of hops can contain as much as 300,000 IUs of estrogen unbelievable amounts uh, just to compare that vitamin d is also a hormone most people don't know that but the rda or recommended daily allowance by the fda is 600 ius contrast that with 300,000 ius of estrogen now let's to be fair i don't think the rda of the fda on vitamin d is accurate um, apparently about 10 15 minutes in the sun with most of your skin exposure you'll get about 10,000 ius of vitamin d which tells me that's probably a lot closer to what we need. And that makes sense because, you know, the companies that control the FDA, the pharmaceutical industry, they want people sick because that makes more customers for them. So for them to put out an RDA of vitamin D that's too low makes sense. It's a good idea. It's a good business move. Most of the estrogen in hops is of the ultra potent type called estradiol or estradiol. So here's a few mechanisms by which the estradiol or the estrogen in hops lowers testosterone. Estradiol directly lowers testosterone in the testes. It increases SHBG, serum hormone binding globulin, which ends up binding up free testosterone in the bloodstream. So estradiol lowers the testosterone in the testes and it binds the stuff that is in your bloodstream as well. So those are two mechanisms by which estradiol lowers testosterone. And here's another one. Estradiol has also been found to directly interfere with the ability of the testes Leydig cells to produce testosterone. Those are your testosterone producing cells and it interferes directly with those cells ability to produce testosterone. Uh, another way, estrogen potently inhibits thyroid function. And there are many more ways testosterone is suppressed by the estradiol containing hops. Hey, it's Mark. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And definitely hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos when they come out. Also, be sure to pick up my three free ebooks one on chemotherapy, the other on sodium bicarbonate for cancer and other diseases, and a red light therapy dose guide by clicking the link in the description below. Last but not least, check out one more video on my channel right here, and I will see you in the next one.